we're going to continue on to making the Barnwood Bench series. I've got my tape measure, my pencil, and my safety glass. So I hope you all can see okay. i got three spotlights on it. It's getting cold outside tonight, so I keep the door down. Anyway, I've got... I'm making a four-foot bench. So I've got two four-foot long pieces, a one by 12 Barnwood cut. Approximately 11 and quarter inches wide. Now you don't have to use a table saw, you can also use a skill saw as long as you use a straight, a, a tri square and get a good line of cut. Now this piece here is 36 inches long because I'm going to split it down the middle into two 18 inch pieces. And I want to make sure I use my true size so that these edges are square true to each other so it doesn't rock. So it's going to be split in the middle at 18. Alright? Now, one of these is going to be my top and one of these is going to be ripped down the center for my two aprons for the side of the bench. We're going to go ahead and probably use the one that's got the most knot holes in it in character for the top, so I'll keep this one aside for the top. Now this one here I'm going to rip dead center down the middle. Alright, so what I'm going to do is measure this. See, five and a half gives us eleven. So it's eleven and a quarter. So if you add an eighth to that, so five and five eighths would be dead center. Now, the curve of the blade is going to uh, be about an eighth of an inch. Well, I don't hit it dead center. It doesn't matter if it's a little bit off of each side because they're aprons and it is a rustic bend. So if I can hit five and five eighths on dead center, it should leave me just a little over five and a half inch pieces. Get my ripped bench out. Kind of a good way to check this is just go ahead and take it and put it up to your fence with that pencil mark dead on the center of the blade and just come on over. So that's about right. You see, that's a sixteenth less than five and five eighths. So that's going to put a compensate for the blade on both pieces. All right, always put your safety glasses on. Kick okay, on the saw here. Two aprons. 
we're still going to need to make a diagonal cut on e into each one of these aprons, and I'll show you how to do that here in a bit. Now we're going to split the 36 inch board. That's 36 and then 18. The final height of these boards is not going to be 18. It's going to be around 17 and a quarter because remember your top's going to be three quarters of an inch and you add that to 17 and a quarter bring to an 18 inch height. That little bit of extra gives me something to square this up to the true edge. For a little to work with. Okay. So I just cut it right down the center of that 18 inch mark. And you see I'm making X's here on what I call my true side. I want to work from that side for all my cuts so it don't rock. Okay, now. I cut that from my true edge against the fence, so I know this one edge here is true. So I'm going to flip it. Cut it down to 17 and a quarter. Now this back side here just looks like new pine, don't it? That's because <clears throat> I had to give in this side my famous Frank's Instant Barnwood formula, which I'll show you how to do in another clip. I can make barnwood. <laughs> trimmed down some because on one side they need to be a little bit less in width to compensate for the apron that's going to be coming under on each side. So each side needs to be trimmed approximately the thickness of the apron which is about three quarters of an inch. So three quarters plus three quarters is inch and a half and it came out to around nine and three quarters inches uh, you subtract that from 11 and a quarter. So I went a little further. I usually go just like eighth of an inch further just to make sure it insets under the edge of the top good. Uh, right around nine and five eighths is the final width. So I'll go ahead and rip those now.
apron split. We got our top cut. Now we just need to do those diagonals on the aprons. But we can't really get the measurement for that that angle until we partially assemble the bench. So let's get into that. I like to use this to tell because it's good and level and solid for small things. Alright. 